Hello everyone, I am so excited for today's video because I'm gonna be sharing how to dress like a stylish fashion blogger because I have so much experience with this. <laughs> just kidding, I really don't, it's a facade, it just, the thing is, we're all just, we, we love scrolling on Instagram and we see all of these amazing outfits and these fashion bloggers and we're like, how does she do it? And then we have a whole closet full of clothes. And do we know how to do it? No, I still half the time I'm like, how does she look so good? But when you really break it down, I have eight ways that you can apply every day to your outfit and walk out looking like a stylish fashion blogger. So let's get started. The very first way that you can easily, and I'm talking easily, <laughs> dress like a stylish fashion blogger is to use Amazon's Style Snap feature. Okay, this is groundbreaking, guys. This video is in collaboration with Amazon. I all, I love it. You guys know how much I love Amazon. All of my videos are never sponsored by Amazon except for today, which I just couldn't be more thrilled because this is a tool that I have been using for so long and I'm going to show you, a lot of you probably don't even know it exists. So it's called Style Snap. All you do is you pull up your Amazon app. So I'm gonna move over here so you can see what I'm doing, but you go to their app and when you open it, there's just the regular home screen and at the top beside the search bar, there's a little camera icon. So you can just click on that and you can immediately start exploring different looks. But my favorite part is uploading your own photo. So next time you're scrolling through Instagram and you see an amazing outfit, just screenshot it and then you can come over to Style Snap and actually upload that photo. So I'm actually going to pull in a photo by Fashion Jackson. Her name's Amy Jackson on Instagram. It's Fashion Jackson. You should follow her, guys. If you love just neutral outfits, I just love her combinations. It's very casual, sometimes dressy, but just everyday looks that are so good. So I screenshotted an outfit that I just love and it analyzes the outfit to find very similar pieces so that you can easily shop and cre recreate the looks. So if you see here, it analyzed just the whole outfit. And the first thing that I can pull up is different options for a faux leather or leather jacket. It gives me so many to choose from. You can sort by prime shipping, you can sort by price, you can sort by reviews and even sizing. Then if I want to check out the jeans that she has, it again suggests similar, like very similar looking options, many different price points and reviews, and then even her shoes. So she's wearing like basic suede boots and again it gives me tons of options very very similar looking options sometimes exact matches um, that I could then order and easily recreate her look so I'm actually gonna do one more outfit just to show you how well this can work so the next outfit I'm gonna pull in is from Chrissy Ferrari I also love her I love her style she's a little bit more colorful sometimes but I'm still really drawn to the way she puts together outfits and this recent dress she wore she actually just had a baby but I was so drawn to the, the dress's color and pattern. So I can pull it into style snap here and it again will find very similar matching items. And so here it is, it's analyzing the dress and it pulls up different options for me to shop. And I found this dress that looks so similar. It's $28 and it is on Amazon Prime. It's available in all the sizes and I just absolutely love it. So I will have a link down below in the description box for you guys to try Style Snap. It is totally free, guys, like totally free. You Maybe you already even have the Amazon app. It's more just like I wanted to share this with you because I love the tool so much. And I'm actually gonna show you a little bit later in the video another way that I used it months ago. I used it months ago and it worked, it worked so well. So that's the first way that you can easily easily recreate and look like a stylish fashion blogger. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to different ways that you can put together an outfit and come out looking stylish. So I have a lot of different steps here. You don't have to do them all, but I'm telling you, if you remember these, like maybe make a list, put them in your phone, bring up that list when you're in your closet, pulling different things. And I'm telling you, it will really, really help. So the first thing is to actually pull out items that you would never typically mix. Just hear me out. So I'm actually gonna go over to my jeans section and I'm gonna grab a pair of jeans that are kind of ratty looking. Like they're very distressed. They're very, very, very casual. Some might hate the style, but just hear me out. I'm gonna grab those pair of jeans and then I'm gonna go to my top section and grab something that's pretty dressy. Maybe like a dressy blouse, a dressy sweater. And we're gonna start with those pieces that most people typically wouldn't mix. 
Okay, so here are the Levi jeans that I grabbed. As you can see, they are very distressed. The knees are blown out on both legs. They're really baggy. They're rolled at the bottom. They're by Levi. By the way, everything that I style in today's video, it's from Amazon and I can link it all down below in the description box. But we've got our very, very, very casual jeans. For our dressy tops, I picked out these two. One's a blouse and one is a sweater. Again, both from Amazon. And I kind of picked them out because they're dressy but also kind of boring and so I wanted to just show you that even though something might look boring there are so many ways to really jazz it up and make the whole outfit look like you're a stylish fashion blogger so like I said this is a nice chiffon dressy blouse with a kind of boring but you know nice basic sweater also dressy and and we're gonna pair the two Okay, um, I wasn't necessarily planning on dressing in front of you, but this Seamless Bras by Calvin Klein, I got it on Amazon Prime Day. It is so nice. So I just wanted to tell you, I feel like I'm not revealing too much. If you're looking for a freaking good seamless bra, I am very happy with this one. Okay, so we've got this first blouse on. As you can see, I mean, just with the sleeves, and just the way it is cut, I did decide to tuck it in just because my, my pants or my jeans are pretty baggy and I don't want it to be just baggy all over. There needs to be some definition. So that's not really one of my points, but just put that in the back of your mind. So I tucked it in and I don't know, I, I, I really like it. It's obviously missing some elements, but now I wanna try the other sweater and we're gonna pick one or the other. Okay, honestly, I don't know which one. See, when I put this on, I love how form-fitting it is. I love kind of the, the opposites of this. This is very form-fitting and this is very loose. I could go either way. Okay, so for the sake of illustrating my point, I'm gonna go with the far dressier blouse. That sweater was great, but it could be considered kind of casual and that's not what I wanna show you. I wanna show you how you should mix things that don't normally go together. So we've got dressy, casual, and then for shoes, I'm going back to dressy. These are my go-to beige pumps. They're by Sam Edelman. I will also link them down below. They are so comfortable. They're like a cloud. There's definitely some heel here, but it's not too high. They're very wearable and I'm just reaching for them all the time. My next step is to add on layered jewelry, guys. This is the icing on the cake and this is what's going to take your outfit from okay to next level. So I actually wanna show you something that I just got a few days ago. It is from Amazon and it's just, it makes everything so easy. So this is an extremely affordable layered necklace. It's just one necklace, but everything is attached. And I love how there's some chain detail, there's some pendant detail, and you just throw it on and it's just an instantly good look. And what I really like about these necklaces is, you know, it's nice to layer jewelry. I have a lot of jewelry, but sometimes it's hard to know, you know, the different lengths and what will, won't get tangled. This doesn't get tangled at all because it just, it's all connected. Um, I also recommend throwing on some layers of bracelets and don't forget about ankle bracelets. So here's an ankle bracelet I'm going to add around my ankle. And I just think it looks so good, again, paired with the heels up against the baggy jeans. So, layer it up, add that icing to your outfit. The next step to your outfit and my personal favorite is adding a good handbag. So we're actually going to go back to Amazon's Style Snap feature because this is what I used months ago to find a handbag that I was eyeing up. I wanted to shop that look, so I screenshot the outfit and I uploaded it here into Style Snap. And as you can see, it starts to analyze everything and I am going to click on the bag and it will give me similar looking bags and options to shop from. So that's what I did. And I found one for around 50 bucks and I ordered it. So here it is. I love this bag so much. It is a magnetic closure, so it, it actually fits quite a lot. It does have straps, which you can pull out and use as like a crossbody bag or shoulder bag, or you can stuff it right in and just use the bag as a clutch and look super chic and fashionable. So the next step to looking like a stylish fashion blogger is to take a jacket, a cardigan, or a blazer and drape it over your shoulders. Yes, don't actually wear it, just drape it over your shoulders. And why do they do that? I have no idea, but gosh darn it, it looks so effortless and stylish and chic. And it might feel weird doing it, but guys, I'm telling you, just do it and walk with confidence. 
sunglasses. Oh my gosh, sunglasses are the next key or element to dressing really stylishly. And I'm telling you guys, I tried to suppress this for so long because I'm not a sunglasses person. I don't know what's wrong with my eyes. No, I don't know what's right with my eyes because when I go outside, I feel like I don't need sunglasses. So I've never really worn them. But as I'm scrolling through Instagram, nine times out of 10, when I'm looking at a really good outfit, they're wearing sunglasses that pull the whole look together. So I'm actually going to throw on a pair of my favorite aviator sunglasses. If you aren't sure which style to get, seriously, you need a good pair of aviator sunglasses. I will also link some other of my Amazon favorite sunglasses. Like these are the number one selling sunglasses, I believe on Amazon. I think they're like $12, don't quote me on the price. They're super cheap and everybody loves them, but just for the sake of my favorite, you also need a good pair of aviators. Okay, so we're getting down to the last two steps of the process. And I think these last two steps are totally optional. Uh, it's only really reserved for when you look in the mirror and you're like, something's still missing. I still feel like it could be better. So I want you to then add a bold lip. So right now I'm wearing something kind of neutral. I mean, there's definitely color there, but it's, it's pretty neutral. So in this situation, I would add something bold, like a, like a good maroon. It could be red. It could be burgundy. It could be like a brown tone. It all depends on your skin tone and what you think looks the best or what you're actually comfortable with. So I'm going to go add a bold shade to my lips. And again, the whole look will be transformed. And voila, here we are with my bold lip. I decided to go with something kind of purpley. I just thought it would look great for fall. A lot of times when people suggest a bold lip, they just assume it needs to be bright red. And there's so many people out there that are not comfortable wearing red. So don't force it. I'm not even comfortable wearing a red lip sometimes. So here is a nice purpley shade. Again, perfect for the season we're in. And it kind of makes it look like I'm trying a lot harder than I actually am. And hats, don't forget forget about a good hat. If we even just bring it back to the very first outfit that I wanted to recreate right here, she's wearing a hat. So I like to have just kind of a small collection. I will link some of my favorites below. They're almost all from Amazon. They're very affordable. This is probably my favorite one. I feel like it, it mostly works with almost any outfit. It's very neutral. I also have an olive green one. Don't forget about baseball caps too. Those look great or even winter hats that are kind of droopy, kind of like a beanie. Just never underestimate a good hat. Okay, so here we are. Let's take a final look at my outfit. And I did remove the hat because like I said, I don't think you necessarily need to use all of these tips and tricks. I would just say take a handful and most likely you'll come out with a good outfit. So this is what we have. We've got the nice sunglasses, the draped, blazer, a good handbag, some dressy mixed with casual, some good heels. Everything seems to work even though you might not expect it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Huge thank you to Amazon for working with me and check out Style Snap. I will have a link to it down below. Like I said, it's totally free and it really makes it easy to recreate your favorite outfits. So thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.